Hi Alvin ISD Kindergartners. I hope you're as excited about today's learning as I am. Today in math, we're going to be focus on, focusing on comparing numbers. Today's content objective says, I can use comparative language to describe two numbers up to 20 presented as written numerals. So when we're talking about comparative language, we're going to be using words like more than, less than, greater than, and equal to in order to tell or write about our two numbers. Now, if I was at the school, I would be using a number path and I would probably also be using my counters. But you know what? I'm not at the school right now, but it's okay. I have another way. I've taken a piece of paper and I've drawn my number path. And actually, I've drawn two number paths, one on top of the other. And I'm going to be using beans as my counters. So even if you're not at the school, this is something you can do at home. But you know, I was thinking, today is a beautiful day. I have a better idea. Let's take today's learning outside. Come join me. Okay guys, so here we are. We're outside and Miss Langford has actually drawn her number pass on the sidewalk with some sidewalk chalk. So that's something that you could do at home. Make sure you have your parents' permission before you do that. And if you don't have any sidewalk chalk, did you know that certain rocks can actually write on the sidewalk? So you might wanna even experiment with that. So what I've done is I've brought out some eggs that have been broken into two pieces that I'm gonna use for my counters. And I have some number cards here to help me. So I have the number seven, and I also have the number five. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to represent each of those numbers on a number path. So first, I'm going to start with seven. One, two, three, four, five, and seven. So I have seven eggs on my top number path. On my bottom number path, I'm going to represent five. One, two, three, four, and five. Now, if I look at my two number paths, you can see that on the top, I have more eggs than what I have on the bottom. So I could say that seven is more than five. If I'm using my comparative language to write that, it would look like this. Seven is more than five. I could also say, boys and girls, because it is smaller is less than seven. Five is less than seven because it's smaller or not as many. Let's try another one. Let's see what my next two numbers are. I have the numbers 11 and 14. So let's represent the number 11 on the top. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I've represented the number 11 on my top number frame, uh, on my top number path. And then on the bottom number path, I'm going to represent the number 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
you can see that on my top number path, I've represented the number 11, and on my bottom number path, I've represented the number 14. When we compare the eggs that we have in the top to the eggs that we have in the bottom, we can see that the top has less or fewer, and the bottom has more or is greater. So if I'm using my comparative language, I can again say that on the top, 11 is less than 14 because it's smaller. Or if I want to compare the bottom to the top, I could say that 14 is greater than 11 because it's bigger or has more. Let's try one last comparison. Let's see what other numbers I have here. Oh, this is going to be a good one. I have the number 9 on my first card. And I also have the number 9 on my second card. So let's look and see what that looks like on our number paths. Let's represent the first number, 9. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Then on the bottom number path, I'm going to represent the number nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. So if I'm looking at my top number path, you'll see that I have nine eggs. And on my bottom number path, I also have nine eggs. We have the same. And when our numbers are the same, we call those equal. If I'm using my comparative language, I would then be able to say that nine is equal to nine. 9 is equal to 9 because those numbers and those amounts are the same. I hope, boys and girls, that you have enjoyed comparing numbers today using our comparative language. I want for you to think about our learning objective for the day that we can use comparative language to describe two numbers up to 20 presented as written numerals. And I want you to make some number paths at home. Pull out something that you can use as counters, beans, coins, even some paper clips, Legos, and compare some numbers to get in some practice. Until I see you again, have a good day.